the committee is laying out the relationship among Trump's inner strain marketing campaign and the goal of right-wing extremist companies to sack the Capitol. As the January 6 committee's explosive string of televised hearings resumed Tuesday, the panel centered on three rings of the insurrection. Former President Donald Trump's interior strain marketing campaign to influence his vice chairman to overturn the electoral votes, the coordination among right-wing extremist companies to violently sack the Capitol, and the pressure of a MAGA crowd inclined to march along them. All of those efforts might converge and explode on January 6, Rep. Jamie Raskin, DMD, a member of the congressional panel, stated Tuesday. Raskin introduced that the hassle of politicians of whipping up crowds was the oldest home enemy of constitutional democracy in America. So far, the Republican Party vary a good deal and nonetheless below the spell of Trump has lambasted those congressional hearings as a proxy assault on the previous president. But the committee's seventh listening to is already displaying something that is going nicely past politics. The direct connection among a president who refused to go away workplace and armed insurrectionists who performed a pivotal function in his strive to break the switch of power. At least three companies with ties to fascists and white supremacists the Oath Keepers, the Three Percenters, and the Proud Boys served as bodyguards to Trump buddies, with inside the run as much as the insurrection. They additionally performed pivotal roles in pushing beyond police strains on January 6, 2021. The chairman of the congressional panel, Rep. Benny Thompson, DMS, began out the listening to with the aid of using criticizing Trump's refusal to concede with Inside the weeks after the 2020 election and his function with Inside the nation's capital that day. He seized at the anger he had already stoked amongst his supporters. He didn't wave them off. He advised them on. Donald Trump summoned a mob to Washington, D.C., and in the end spurred that mob to salary a violent assault on our democracy. Rep. Liz Cheney, the pinnacle Republican at the committee, mentioned that Trump have to have regarded higher than to retain to espouse conspiracy theories approximately the election results. Donald Trump is a 76-year vintage man, she stated. He isn't always an impressionable child. Providing similarly evidence that the ex-commander and leader have to have known as it quits earlier than the day of the insurrection, the panel performed clips of interviews with Trump's hard work secretary, Eugene Scalia, and his former White House counsel, Pat Cipollone, wherein they each said that Trump have to have conceded while provided with the overpowering proof that he misplaced to Joe Biden in 2020. Although the committee's preceding six hearings have in large part depended on its personal work through recorded depositions performed with the aid of using the panel and its investigators, this time round, the committee has gotten pretty a chunk of assist from the large collection of crook investigations presently underway with the aid of using the Department of Justice. As federal sellers were looking down folks who attacked cops, trespassed into the constructing, and wreaked havoc that day, federal prosecutors were constructing complicated crook instances that alleged sure companies had been engaged in a violent plot to doubtlessly kill humans to hold Trump in power. More than a dozen individuals of MAGA unswerving militias face a really uncommon and extreme crook price of seditious conspiracy. That consists of Oath Keepers Chief Elmer Stewart Rhodes and the one-time head of the Proud Boys Road Gang, Enrique Terrio. Law enforcement operating on those instances have discovered that militants saved caches of guns and survival tools simply outdoor the nation's gun-loose capital, with plans to ferry them throughout the Potomac River if a large-scale war ensued. These crook instances are slowly making their manner to trial. The U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Columbia and the FBI's Washington Discipline Workplace have basically been converted with inside the wake of the January 6, 2021 assault. According to numbers up to date final week, the feds have arrested greater than 855 humans in each kingdom of the country. So far, 166 of them were sentenced to jail or domestic confinement. But the more and more more Trump unswerving Republican Party has oddly rallied round those jailed insurrectionists, with politicians like Rep. Marjorie Taylor Greene, R. Georgia, fundraising at the concept that those attackers are being prosecuted improperly. On Tuesday earlier than the listening to, George Washington University political technology professor Lara Brown instructed the Daily Beast that knowledge the function of paramilitaries on January 6, 2021 merits a more in-depth, Examine the infamous Brooks Brothers riot in Miami many years ago.